Okay, we're leaving uh, Segundo, Colorado, where Ringo's Market's at. We'll be taking a drive up in the, in the mountains up today, up uh, Sarcio Canyon, to go look at some mountain properties. You see Ringo's grocery store. You got a couple of gas pumps. And you go about a mile west on uh, Highway 12 here, um, and you'll take a right onto Sarcio Canyon Road. And I'll, sh I'll tell you the road number, the county road number, when we get up here. You can see the it's one of the best views in the area. Just driving around anywhere in the county, you'll see the mountains. And those are the Sangre de Cristos in the background where the National Forest and Mountain Lakes are at. And there's lots of other pu public wildlife areas. There's a 30-something thousand one over here just to the south behind Weston, Colorado. And there's 2,700 acres back up here. Both of the peaks are wilderness area. And the uh, San Isabel National Forest comes down to about halfway into the Sangres up there. Stonewall, Colorado is a little fishing village town. Um, before you get to the mountain lakes, if you keep going west on Highway 12, it'll, it'll take you over below those mountain peaks over to Kachar, Colorado at the top of Kachar Pass and then down into Levita and then you can hook up with 160. Take a right, go to Walsenburg or take a left and head to uh, well, all the way as far as Durango if you want. Now we're about a mile at mile marker 54 right past it. You'll take a right right before the bridge on the Sarcio Canyon Road. We're about a mile past wet, wet going west uh, from Segundo, Colorado. And we're taking a ride on the County Road 41.7. And Sarcio Canyon Road's paved oh, for about uh, eight miles coming up here. So most, most properties off of this canyon will be a mile or two, maybe four off of pavement. And most properties in this area will be about 25, 30 minutes to town. About 10, 15 minutes to Ringo's grocery store and gas pumps. And um, to any of the public lands, it could be 10 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on what you're gonna go to in the area. And this county has the uh, second largest elk herd population in the world. There's plenty of mule deer, bear, mountain lion, all that kind of stuff in Turkey. It's greened up yet. Uh, we're just coming out of winter. We can still have snow this time of year. Average winter temperature uh, for this area, Los Angeles County is about 50 degrees. So the snow comes and it melts melts fast. You can get buried in a little bit for three, four days if we got a three, four foot snow. They only happen maybe once a year. Once every couple, three Once you get about 7,000 feet in this area, in this county, you'll start getting into the Ponderosa Pines and the, the tall pines. About eight to 9,000, depending on the valleys and things like that, you'll, you'll start getting into uh, Aspens and Blue Spruce. We've come about four or five miles up Sarcio Canyon Road right now. Once you cross that cattle guard, then we right there, then uh, you'll take a, you can take a left into Lagarita South, Lagarita South. And there's actually another left at a pond. You can get into the north end of Lagarita South. And there's other ranches in the area off this road. To the 7,000 foot range now. And you can see the ponderosa pines starting to pop up. There's cottonwoods in the canyons down below. And you might, even at this elevation, if you've got some water in a valley, you could end up with some blue spruce and some aspen in the valleys. A lot of sandstone formations at this elevation between seven and 8,000 feet. And seven to eight is the perfect growing uh, elevation between seven and 8,000 feet is really good growing elevation for this area for homesteading. And get above 8,000, and it becomes more difficult to do greenhouses and gardens. At about seven miles coming up, Sarcio Canyon, County Road 40.1, you will come to a pond on your right, and you'll be able to see the, um, the Spanish peaks 
to the north, northwest. If we come over this hill, you see the Spanish Peaks. Really good for the first time coming up Sarcio Canyon. I'll zoom in on them. And uh, they look more about like that. They actually look a little bit bigger than that. That's the West Spanish Peak. Um, there's a wildlife area, the Spanish Peaks Wildlife Area. It's just a little further up here. And this entrance is Rancho La Garita. This is Rancho La Garita South, but this is the north entrance. There's a little pond there. Okay, just about a quarter mile after the entrance to Rancho La Garita South, I'm, the north end entrance, and after that pond, about a quarter mile afterwards, this is where the pavement ends. These county roads go, you can go anywhere in the county, and you can see this is Rancho La Garita North, County Road 30.1, which will wind all the way back down into Trinidad, and you can hit, go back down to Highway 12 we started on for many feeder roads. And this will head up into the wilderness area, National Forest in this direction. Okay, so we're taking a right into Rancho La Garita North, and you can see, um, Sakuraisen track and Upper Daughter, that's part of the 2700 acre wildlife area and there's also another way to get to it on County, County Road 30.1. So this five acres is going to be within 10 minutes of uh, 2800 acres. And there's elk and deer crawling everywhere. And it's 2022 in the fall. So you can see the firehouse that I was talking about in the video I made earlier in the year coming up Sarcio Canyon 41.7. And we're on 30.1, so we're taking a left at the firehouse. And we're gonna go to 39 acres in LDS, about another two miles up here. We'll take a left at the top of Cottontail Pass. And uh, we'll go back into 40, 39 acre, 40 acre tracks. There's no covenants. Uh, and this uh, property borders the 2,700 acres, the Spanish Peaks Wildlife Area. And you'll have some of the best hunting in the whole entire county. Uh, power's about, it's within a mile, I believe, of the property. And I'll be taking clips like I've been, do, been doing and flying my drone over the property. It has a driveway and a site on the property as well. And speaking about wells, a water well should be about 250, 300 feet at $22 a foot drilled. And uh, cell phone works great out here. There's no hardline phone in this ranch in the mountains. And it's very private. It's at about 7,000 feet, uh, which is the perfect sweet spot. Seven, 8,000 feet in this area. And it's good for homesteading and water and all kinds of things, weather. And this property, so we're only about a mile, like I say, past the firehouse. And when you come over the pass right there, We'll be taking a left on a, on a little road right here, right on the other side of the pass. And this county road, 30.1, goes back down through that valley, back down east towards uh, Trinidad. So this is where we'll take a left before you start going down the other side of the pass too much. Actually, you can go up that way, that left. Then we go all the way to the end for the nicer road. You see those green gates, it's kind of a four-way right here, or a five-way. One, two, three is four-way. So you don't want to go that way, you don't want to go that way, you don't want to go that way, you don't go this way. Here's where we came from. And this, this ranch in LDS, it has covenants, but they never formed an HOA or a POA, so there's no dues. And you just want to stay straight on the main road. There's no dues, and uh, everyone's been doing them. They do what they will with their property within county regulations. And you're going to have views of the Sangre de Cristos to, our, to the west here. And you can see Taos Mountain all the way back into New Mexico. I call it Taos Mountain, Wheeler Peak, I guess. And uh, we'll be taking a left up here, heading down this valley over here, and the property's back over there. So from Cottontail Pass, it's going to be about a mile and a half 
I'd say about a mile and a half back in here to the property itself. Okay, that, that little place I showed you, that's not the place you're looking for to take a left. There's a rock wall up here around this corner after you see it, then you'll take a left. Here's that rock wall. I used the sandstone from here to make that. So there's a gas well right there. A methane gas well. There's actually telephone to this point right here. And the closest point for power is back up there where that rock wall's at on the hill. So you have this gate and that this it'll this is for the owners in the area there's no locks on it but it could be shut you can see the song grace they look about that big when you're here actually a little bigger and my wide angle on so it doesn't zoom in real well said we're gonna take a right so when you see this gas well here methane gas well just drive through it and stay to the right the property's gonna be up here on our left a little bit okay got a juncture here I'll go I think we stay left okay we stayed left at that last little Y right behind me and you'll see the, a gas well on your right. See some meadows. We're we headed just west past that last gas well. It was on our right, about 100 yards behind me. So the property's going to be on our left up here on the hill. And there's a driveway getting into it. Beautiful views from up there. And you just take a left. You see at the gas stand pipes. And we're going to take a right onto the driveway onto the property and to site location pretty nice road in good condition We've got a lot of room on this property uh, to spread out and build something it's uh, basically a giant flat top and you can see this is the first nice area and you can see the um, song greater crystal is all the way in the background they look at least that big a lot of sandstone formations on this property I, mean, I don't know I think the wildlife area is on the west side and the north or it may just be on the north side of the property or the west I have to look at the maps I got brought the wrong maps and they made the road go further they didn't just make one spot you can see and this the property goes down in this bowl and it's pretty gentle going down in there for mountain gentle another nice spot right here and you can see back to Fisher's Peak over Trinidad in that direction but not through those bushes some nice sandstone formations right there a little bit. We've got a lot of room with two nice sites They're cleared out. And the property boundary is, oh, if I remember correctly, it's about another maybe 40 yards, 30 yards that direction. Yeah, we just got out of the truck. Um, that's not too bright. Thirty-nine acres with uh, little no covenants. There's some really neat sandstone formations here. This will be looking to the west, and if you thin these trees, you can you can see the Sangre de Cristos all along there. If you keep going, you can see all the way to New Mexico, and Fisher's Peak over Trinidad is right through those trees back over there. It's just really neat. And you're about the last person on the road back here too. The road 
does continue through so you could continue on the way we drove in. It's pretty down there. That's the wildlife down in there. The owners have a survey of the property they had done when they first purchased it. You come over here and you can see back to Fisher's Peak over Trinidad, Colorado. Below that, tie 25 south, going south. This direction, we're looking east. You'd be going into New Mexico. Right tone. You're about, you're about 25 to 30 minutes to town from here. But like I say, Ringo Supermarket. That's New Mexico all over there, that ridge line. Those sangres are huge, those trees. Get it. Yeah. There's some snow on the peaks already. Then you come around here, you're gonna see the West Spanish Peak. East Spanish Peaks right behind these trees. If, like I say, you keep thinning out. It'd be really nice up here. For views. Oh, there's the east. This is where we came from. Trucks up there, second sites up there. This is where we drove in. I believe this on the eastern boundaries line. So most, all the property goes this direction and it goes out on this point too. This is the eastern, let's see the southern boundary line is running down there below our feet. And the rock formations on this are really neat. Again, that's south into New Mexico there. Fisher's Peak over Trinidad again. Kind of hard to see these, but it's a bunch of little hoodoos here. You can make a little campfire or something in the middle. Kids would love that. Hey, another, they've got a four wheeler trail going down here. There's a big view of Fisher's Peak. And there's a lot of neat rock formations, sandstone formations. And more of the sangres. Some hoodoo sticking up right there. Then it drops down to a canyon. I believe that all down there is wildlife area. Very private and very few people can access it. Entrance quite a ways over that direction. About a mile and a half as the crow flies, two miles. Hopefully I'm still all on the property. And we can verify that with the topo. That oh, was pretty. Just keep getting stopped by the views. The Council of Rocks is right up there. We just come down a little bit. Well, it's a neat valley. You don't get this mixture of sandstone formations 
um, at, unless you're at this elevation. Basically between seven and 8,000 feet in the area. Well. These are cool, really cool. Gotta get this hoodoo at the peaks. Lost a snap at. Yeah, they come out here. Now we're talking about it. Well. Hey, you see that in there? Okay, we're just leaving the second site. We left the first or the second site up there, and there's Fisher's Peak again. There's the Sangres. If you're seeing this any place but ranchviews.com, ranchviews.com, please go to my website, and uh, I do this with all my properties. Uh, I drive to, hike around and a flyover video and thanks for watching.